Cicero Moraes is a well-regarded Brazilian 3D forensic designer. Among his many accolades in this specific field of research, he serves as the vice coordinator of the Brazilian team of forensic anthropology and forensic dentistry. Within a short time frame, Cicero has established himself as a top-notch leader in his field of work. His life, however, hit a crossroads before his career even began. Sempre... I have always liked scientific research, but I never had the opportunity to work with it. Interestingly, the opportunity came after a traumatic event. I suffered a robbery with my family and I reacted to save them. I ended up taking a grazed shot in the head. The wound was not serious, but I was depressed. To overcome depression, I started to occupy my mind with studies and that's when I chose a career in forensic facial reconstruction. He considers his brush with death as a life-changing experience. After completing his schooling, a unique opportunity presented itself to him. He was asked to forensically reconstruct the skull of St. Anthony of Padua. To date, Morais and his team of scientists, forensic doctors and artists have not stopped reconstructing the faces of saints. Currently, they have reconstructed the faces of seven saints and two beatified. We are currently finalizing the 3D printed busts of Sorana de Los Angeles and Santa Rosa de Lima. We are working in partnership with the Renato Archer CTI, the development center of the Brazilian Ministry of Science and Technology, and the artist Mari Bueno, who will paint the 3D impression based on the digital reconstructions. Cicero and his team will be presenting the busts in Peru. Recently, he co authored an ebook with Dr. Paul Miyamoto. The book offers a compilation of scientific and forensic insight about 3D facial reconstruction. They decided to make the ebook free because they wanted to offer this type of knowledge to those that seek it, as an independent project created specifically for the community. I have enjoyed very much working with the reconstruction of the saints. New opportunities have appeared and I hope to always be involved with this type of project. Here in Brazil, we will inaugurate an exhibition on the facial reconstruction of all these religious and historical characters. It is called Faith Faces. For Cicero, working on each saint brings about a different experience, one that he feels he has gained exclusive access to. He feels that his work provides him an opportunity to really get to know the history behind each saint, making it that much more rewarding. <laughs>